Well guys, I'm back. This is our power flip-flop. I used just a plain old standard um, bell transformer. This is a 12.6 volt center tap bell transformer, which I'm running around backwards. The flip-flop is driving the bell transformer. Now, unfortunately, I don't have a very good power supply to run this up on. The circuit draws right at about 1.5 amps. And uh, what we have over here, this is the voltage input to the circuit, and this is the voltage output to the circuit. And on the back side back here, you'll see a fluorescent tube which simulates our uh, cell. Because I believe that we're looking at more of a capacitive load than we are a resistive load if we're not using um, electrolyte in our cell. Okay, this is the input voltage, this is the output voltage. There's a little bit of static on the line. Alright, we're going to connect up our cell here if I don't wipe something out. And bingo, look. Look at that. See the light bulb light up back there? That's a 20 watt fluorescent bulb in the back. Okay, there's the output voltage. We're getting 155, 140 volts, 155 volts. We're only pumping 9.7 volts into the uh, circuit at 1.5 amps. And uh, if you really look at it, that's only about 15 watts. So that's why we are not getting a as bright as we could on the 20 watt load. But there you go. A free power supply. Come out of all the junk in an ATX power supply. It's just a power flip flop. Very standard little uh, transformer. It's a bell transformer. I'm running it backwards. Uh, you get a lot more voltage if you use a 6 volt center tap transformer. But I don't believe that you would uh, be able to pull the current out of it. Anyhow, that's what the power flip flop looks like whenever it's kludged together. It does work. There it is. Lighten our little load. That's a 20 watt load on there. So maybe this is going to help somebody. It's a very simple circuit and it does a pretty good job. Okay, I've uh, let the voltage drop. Alright, bye.